safety by 7.30. I say that every night, though. Mudgy! Mudgy's ready! Yeah, and then when we're done here... Is today Nemo's? Is it yeah. her birthday today, for real? I totally missed that one. Is it really, Benhead? She's an ordinary little dude. Boy, this is today between her, um, Marky and Barky and Vernon and um, Hensley. Everybody. It's been a circus. I'll get you. I'll get you yours. Shit, can you put this in on a plate there and get that to him, please? That's what he wants. Oh, yeah, look at him. He says, I want it. Oh, God. Another private diamond. Oh. Oh. No, 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 Anne Marie. Is this the kitty cat that you said you saw, Phil? I think so. Look what she just did. That's a no no. You know, you're attracting the attention of others. Yeah, right here? Yes. Is that the one? Okay, it, it is going okay. back. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't sure. the new thing. Now I lost my papers. Okay. So we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna do it because we have updates to give and and we have and Shen and Vaughn and Pat are here and Nancy. Uh, I think she's gonna be a new volunteer just left. And we have Leanne is visiting, but she's here, but I haven't seen her yet. And I think it's her niece is here. Is that did she just come in? I don't know. No. Somebody, that wasn't her. Who okay. Just came and went. Okay. And then tonight, I think, is Dawn and and uh, Angie coming in tonight. So we have people. We love people. We're not letting Shen and Vaughn go tomorrow, though. We don't want them. Okay. Let's back up here a moment. I don't have a note on this. Look, is that one of the ones? No, that's Amazon. Put this down. Way back here because they're so loud. Okay. Quirly, what do you want, honey? Let's see if we have a name in here. Quirly, it's the after all, appetizer, private dining. Yeah. I don't have a name on this one, but we have to know. This is a bag of Prina One salmon and tuna. And not only that, we have a box of kitty snappers. I saw a big, big size of relief from the kitties when they saw the snacker box back there because it sure looked a lot better than it did a week ago. So I'm, if, if you sent this, it came through Amazon. Amazon, you could let um, just PM Mudgy. And uh, that way we can make note of that. That would be really nice. And see, we got Shin Train now. Trained box people are not allowed to leave. None of them are allowed to leave. We get them and then we want to keep them all. Yeah, thank you to our anonymous donor. Yep, it's not on there, but it did come through Amazon. And sure appreciate that. And I want to show you this. This is pretty cool. Um, we got two boxes from Lady Gale. And they're all plaids. And I know a lot of you love the plaids. I'm just going to show you some of these. These um, if you, these are in the store, so if you go through our website and uh, when it says like a boy or girl or whatever, or you can email me, oh wait, to that list I said of the ornery, also add Franklin. Yeah, if you go, or if you want to just go through uh, PayPal and send it in, you can do that. You don't have to go through the store. By going through email, you can then say, I'd like a plaid. And if you give us a couple color selections, 
we can probably need it. This is just a few of the lovely plaid. And these are, yep, there's two boxes of them. Two boxes. So, like, if you was to say blue, we would send this one to you. If you was to say brown, we would send this one. To you. So, just let us know. Yep, they are ready. They do go to the store. There's one box already, honey. You're going to, for burn, you're going to come back. Okay. Well, yeah, but time out. This is what I would like to do. Emily's more white here. Yeah. Well, she has her two dark spots on it. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. Right there, Emily. Hey, Dibbly, Dibbly, Dibbly. Oh, yeah. Wait. Dibbly, Dibbly, do. Wait, I said that wrong. Dibbly, Dibbly, do UK. I think is right. We have your box. And it is full of yummy good stuff. What do you think, Zelda? There's a case of fancy piece crazy. A uh, case of fancy piece plastic. So you want to put them in Kitty City, you know where the popcorn popper is, that green table, beside that. And then we can keep them in line. And then we have a fancy piece case of grilled. And we have a case of um, friskies. If my phone rings and then that phone rings, that means I better get it. I'm so sorry. So three cases of fancy piece, one of friskies. Doubly, I thank you for that. We go through a lot of food every day. I'm good. We'll have raffle show and tell after boxes. Lots of ventilation. And this, this one goes in the back wheels. 
Wednesday, five o'clock, or Wednesday. <coughs> that that's going to be two adoptions on Wednesday evening yeah but we don't know we know who they we think they're looking at but we're not positive oh I gotta give her a meds yet too yeah so Dudley <laughs> back to seeing things I appreciate you yep yeah Food is always, always welcome. This is from, you know, these boxes that we got this time are just Ooh. a wreck. That one was almost unbelievable. Yeah, this one that is part fragile. a part. Now, that one came from South Africa, so you know who that's from. But this one, it says from Ohio, but I'm telling you, the whole bottom side, the whole entire side is out, and the whole box is crumpled. And let me just take a minute here. I'd like to say a couple of these here. Um, Vicky, Vicky B. Uh, she texted me to, or she uh, emailed me today, and we did receive it today, Vicky. It was uh, about 80 pounds of litter from the precious litter, and we already did put it in the containers, the litter boxes already. Whoops. So Vicki B, um, precious litter, wonderful, and it is already used, so or being used, so thank you. And Earth, Earth Eye, I have a little apology to make to you. You had told me I could open up a box that had some um, grain-free food for trucker, and there was a box came with with Earth, um, with your name Margaret on it. And I thought it was that, but it wasn't. Um, on, in that box from Earth Eyes is two cases of Fancy Feast. So, Mudgy, if you could jot that down, two cases Fancy Feast from Earth Eyes. And I, I appreciate food. Food is always good. And then VRS and Sean, or er, Sean, or it was better than when I called her Vern earlier. <laughs> Listen to this. They brought. 12 cans of Fancy Feast Kittens, so a case of Fancy Feast Kitties. Two cases of water, which is always appreciated. We're going through almost a case oh, a day shin. here with Not everybody. Saturday we went to huh? shin. What did yeah. I say? Yeah, yeah, I I born. Born. <laughs> <laughs> there was an assortment, and I even had your say shin. I think I'm going from red shin. to purple. <laughs> it's shin and bon. Mudge, you already knew that. <laughs> And tw two cases of baby food, six cases of appetizers, which we really needed that. And and Vern, or um, Hensley, tells you thank you. Thirty jars of baby food, but listen to this: twenty cases of Friskies. Oh my word! So you guys won't go hungry for a little while. No, nope, I appreciate that very much. So this box here came from Debbie B. from from Ohio, Cleves, Ohio. Oh, very nice. I am just, this box totally got wrecked. This is a case of Friskies. This is kind of like food night, isn't it? Because I said everybody's name's wrong. 
Kitty Kitty. Kitty Kitty. Yep, we'll do all of this. Oh, we got a note. This one also, since Shin is going to Kitty City, is Fancy Feast. It's a case of poultry and beef mudgy. So two cases there, and I appreciate it. But we do have a letter. Get a stink stand with the UPS guy with a sub and not even the normal sub. Oh, so that may have helped for some. Yeah, and who knows from along the way. How many other stops there are? Uh, this is on vacation. This is thank you, but we thank you, Debbie D. To the friends of Feline's, with many thanks for the opportunity to take a tour of your. Oh my gosh, this lady was on that gobo. For the opportunity to take a tour of your facility while on my bicycle trip. I was so impressed with the whole experience. You all do a wonderful job with all the animals. Please accept my donation, Debbie B. This is one of those Gobo bike riders. Oh my gosh. I know. That's really awesome. So a food, uh, case of Friskies, a case of Fancy Feet, and then a bag of the indoor adult from Royal Cannon. That's really wow. awesome. Hilby, we were talking about that today. Um, we were talking about that today. And, you know, it's kind of hard for sure to say because things got, uh, well, it, well, wow, it was hard to keep everything trying to keep, like, this is always from the cannibal, and now this is the newer stuff, and, and uh, because, like, if, when we ran out of appetizers, and there was appetizers in the new, then we took, but I'm, I am thinking that, that the majority of what we got, well, I am, I'm kind of thinking that the the food we got was probably, uh, for the most part, used up by the second week of May. Can you believe that? So the food that we're using now is all that has come in from like that second week of May to now. But um, we we keep rotating it. We've got it all out in Kitty City right now, and it's so nice to have it out there and not in my house. But we have a system that we're rotating everything to keep it fresh. We did find one can. Oh, well, you guys probably heard that. One can from um, that Mary found last week in the food closet back there. And it got opened up, and it was yuck. It was, and it was at the bottom, of course. Oh, come here. You have somebody looking at you. Hey, but now, oh no, you be nice now, my girl. Uh, this box came through Amazon. You know what? You know what? Um, pasta that for macaroni box. I'm always calling them pasta. It's macaroni. <laughs> Zelda, he wants food. I, I don't wouldn't have guessed that. <laughs> he's always hungry. He's always hungry. Like he's Come here. When you name it macaroni, you're going to be thinking food all the time. Gotcha. I don't have a name on this one, Mudgy, but um, maybe if you're out there, you could let Mudgy know it came from, well, it's called, there's so many different names on these. It does say it came from Amazon, but it's a, uh, um, pounds? Here's right it's the kitten. It's the dry kitten food from Royal Cannon. Yeah, we like that. No, no, no. Yeah, it's getting real wobbly, and we've tightened it and tightened it. So I thank you, um, anonymous donator. But if you're out there, let Mudgy know. I just refilled the dry kitty food bin today. Can I throw it over? are both from our friend from South Africa, Rosemary. 
And this is, uh, I mean, they, they have been en route for a long time. I know she told me, I was trying to find a date to give you an idea how long they've been trying to get here. Here, can I see this date here, honey? Yes. Might be on the no, but I know they've been they've been on the slow boat and but they're they've arrived and I can't wait to see in here. Can you okay one or the other? But let me do this one because it's a little narrower. And this one has oh look at we should save this. I'll hand all this over to Pat. Hey, and when we're done here. I think Pat and Shin are going to show the raffle items. This says, Dear Jackie, two very special Afghans in this box. I hope they are alive and raise a lot of funds for the kitties. Love and hugs, Rosemary. You know, I have no idea right off the top of my head, Mudgy Mike, of how many Afghans Rosemary has sent us from South Africa. But... She has said it's a lot, a lot, and they are all, all different and some. all beautiful. Did you, you get this one? Oh, that's oh, pretty. Oh, I love mauve and teal. Here. Is that what I'm going to move? Well, that might not be so good. And rosemary, if I'm... Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful. Oh, oh here's the tape. I know she always put the tape on. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, um, wow. This is called Carousel's Afghan. Dusty Pink Sage and Cream. It's about 52 by 76 by Rosemary. And it's got the bubble. Wow. Rosemary, if you're on, this is stunning. Yeah, Joko, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's oval, Anita. There's a Mac over there. Wow. Every one of her Afghans have been different. Wow. That just is. Rosemary, we are, we are just honored to get these from Ooh. you. Can I give you this to sure. put back in there? And this is the second one in this box. And I think we're just going to put these on the counter in the back comfort room. Counter mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and back comfort room. Oh, my God. They're in the mail room. Yep. Here, Shin. I love that color of blue. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, it's, it's an octagon. Uh, it says uh, ice crystals. It's called ice crystals. Oh. Aqua and white, size 64 inches, made by Rosemary. Oh. Gosh, that's pretty. Look, again, the, the, I love that lacy stuff. The yeah. different she uses. That wow. just gives me goosebumps. She must just truly love making these. Do you know, I, I wonder if she's kept track how many, many she's done on a long time for us. Rosemary, if you're on, these are beautiful. Yeah, ice, yep, you got it, mac and cheese. Ice crystal. Aqua and white. 64 inches. Wow. Then we hand it to Pat. There you go. I can <laughs> hand it to Pat. And I undo the whole thing. And make it wow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, yeah, it makes you want to see what's in the next one. I know. I wonder, wonder where she gets all her ideas. It's been a while since I sent more Afghans, but I have oh, been. Oh, Yeah. I have been busy making. I have been busy making them, and they are all now on their way to you so you can find them good homes. Hugs, Rosemary. Rosemary, I don't know how we got so fortunate to have you 
be so generous for us, with us, but boy, we appreciate it. There's five in here. Let's move this back a little. I love this. Oh, two. These are the colors so many people like together. The aquas and the blues. Oh, and look at length. Well, let's see what she calls this. Very soft also. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's pathetic. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? With that scallop on the oh, edge. Get the, this name is perfect for this. Well, I'm thinking woodland at the ocean, like forest by the... How about Froggy Pond? <laughs> <laughs> Froggy Pond, 50 Aww. by 62, lime, brown, aqua, and variegated. Very neat. Froggy yeah. Pond. Rosemary, oh, this is gorgeous. Thank you, Pat. That's cute. I love that. Oh, and you know, every one of hers is different. I don't know how she. A lot different. A lot yeah. different. Yeah. Here's our tag. Oh wow. Oh, I like I like that. Oh, I'm rushing the one. Yeah, that's oh. slow. It's, oh, oh, look that's at pretty that. Too. Okay, let's see. Oh, Prince Bay Ripple. Prince, Prince Bay, Bay Ripple. I love how she's got the variegated in mm -hmm. that. It's I bet that doesn't show on, on camera, but some of these yarns are variegated. Yeah. Yeah, Prince. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. It's Picnic. Picnic Bay Ripple. Picnic Bay Ripple. White, Jade, Coral, Rose, and Variegated. And this one is 47 by 60. Very pretty. Can you imagine the time that these take to make? I can't imagine how long it's been taking me to decide what color shard to buy. I mean, I'm so out of the league of oh what goes God. into doing this that it's... And how did she pick us? How did she pick us? She her? left a lot of pretties. She left a Oh. We like fireworks. Ooh, yeah. another one for the ooh. Oh, this one is cool. Rosemary, if you ever get to the United States, you have to come visit us. These are Rosemary's from South Africa. They're beautiful. Very, very. Look at that. Oh, well, look at this. this oh, and it's longer. kind of got poofy. It looks well. Uh -huh, some, looks some, poofy, yeah. it? Yeah, some, some of the units are, and some of them are. Right. I think. So this one is called. Oh, we got baby. We got to hold this up here. Oh, <laughs> a baby on there. It's called Violet Rings. That makes sense. Violet Rings. White, lilac, violet, sage. I love sage with purples. Mm -hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? By Rosemary. 48 by 64. We're not doing the shape justice. No. 64 is long and we got kitties below it. Yeah. So. Uh, I got sage in there like that. Is really? Really, really it brings cool. out the other colors too, yeah. doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yep. You got it? I get the fun part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get the hard part. Oh. Well, I'm going to like this one too. Oh, this is that super duper soft. Here. Well, I'm not watching what I'm doing. I'm <laughs> watching what you're doing. It makes, it makes me a little oh, less effective. This is as soft as a little baby head. And that's really soft. Ooh. I'm about to sweat it with these oh, colors. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Very pretty. That is gorgeous. This no, sir, This one is called oh, Sher Sherbert Drops. Oh. Sherbert Drops. Uh, Jamie, you are absolutely right. A huge amount of love goes into these afghans. And then she shares them with us. So this is cream, beige, coral, pink, and variegated. 52 by 73. Yeah, you know it's the picking of the colors together, but how on earth does she get all these patterns? There you go. 
Thank you, Judy. And then this is number five. I wonder if we could stash them all in here. I hope we can get some close oh. <laughs> This is really different from the others. They're all different. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. I love that. Colors. Me too. Okay. Very autumn. Oh, ah. Makes me think of that first cold oh. snap, which sounds really good today. You need to be a name maker. What is it? Autumn Ripple. <laughs> you are good. Go. Yeah. I got the, the woodland pond. You do. I you was, did. Sunshine, gold, olive, rust, and variegated. Oh, yeah, there. Mm -hmm. And this is 47 by 66. Very pretty, does make me think of. And look at this. Fall oh, festivals. It does. Stuff. Are you ready? You ready? He wanted to get out by himself one day. I let him. And Rosemary, if you're on, we are grateful. And um, appreciate everybody. Wonderful things. Wonderful, wonderful. She so that is seven, right? Clear from South Africa. Pat, do you want some help? No, I can do that. If you've got an ounce, let's go ahead yep. and read and I have a couple I have two remotes. And then we'll do um oh my gee. I've got a couple more here. Um Bob, Cindy, Matthew, and Patrick visited. Bob, Cindy, Matthew, and Patrick visited, and they brought, they're from Brookville, Ohio. They were visitors. They brought Clorox wipes, 9-inch paper plates, Purina 1 adult, two bleach bottles, five vinegars, um, two one-gallon Clorox cleaning fluid. <laughs> Six inch plates and snackers. So, Mudgy, I'll say that real quick for you again. Clorox wipes, nine inch plates, clean of one adult, two bleaches. I wonder how fast Mudgy really can run. <laughs> Five vinegar. She probably records it. That's what I wonder. Two one gallon Clorox cleaning stuff. Six inch plates and snackers. That's Bob, Cindy, Matthew, and Patrick. Yep, they came and visited us. That was, and that was really nice. Boy, Seb, you got that right. Me too. And then um, Judy and Phil was here yesterday. They also brought six inch paper plates and um, nine inch plates too. Uh, one case of Fancy Feast. Um, one package of, of the big spring and a package of, package of the woolies. She, Judy told me she actually got them for her, but she's allergic to wool, so she was worried about using them. Uh, cat crazy, they're a little toy. Sponges, a critter toy pack of toys, Clorox wipes, Kit, Kit Kat snackers. Oh yeah, she brought his candy. We got to mix that stuff up too. It was Kit Kat, Reese's Pieces, Snackers, no, Snickers, Hershey Miniatures, two Magic Erasers, and then um, some box tops. And she also brought uh, some special food that her cat used for crystals in the bladder. So when I get that special food, I put it up in a cupboard, and then if we ever need it, we have it. So it's paper plates. Six and nine, fancy feet, wide springs, a woolies, cat crazy sponges, critter toy pack, Clorox wipes, and then that candy. There's one, two, three, four, five kinds, and special food from the vets for uh, crystal problems and uh, box tops for Kellen and for Karen, Kellen, Kendra, and Kirsten. We'll see that there. Whoever those kids are. 
And this is from, oh, I thought it was a kitty. Flowers, aw. Uh, flowers in almost every day. I Let's see here. Oh, use this donation for a name or any other need you have. Oh. She says, I'm sending you a copy of this note with a small donation because I want one of my donations to counteract someone's thoughtless remarks. Aw. And the name that we're going to pick with that, Mudgy, you'll want to know this, is Janessa. Thank you. This is Kathleen. Kathleen M. Kathleen, thank you. It's Janessa Mudgy. Appreciate that. And wait a minute, what did I do? Yeah, that's right. And then this one, I think this is from Mac and Cheese. Oops, I missed who was on the wheel. Yeah, Mac and Cheese has been running the wheel lately. It says thanks. Mac and Cheese, thank you for. Oh, to you, to you and the entire FFRC Nation for all that you do for the kitties. Please give Lorenzo an extra hug for me. Use my donation for whatever you like. Until next month, take care, Sue. And Sue is mac and cheese. Somebody looking at mac and cheese. This four-legged mac and cheese that are here. So maybe Jay, Jay Mudgy. Oh, and actually, Mudgy, hang on, that's not quite right. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Mac and Cheese. Janessa is J A N E S S A. Oh, I guess you did have it. J A N E S S A. Yep. And then I think that catches us up. We can do. Um, we can do. Uh, Ooh, okay, we can do updates. So, as you know, this afternoon was all about truckers. Um, we knew when Dr. Darcy was here on Saturday that he was a little bit punky. He, but trucker had these kind of punky days. I call. I always say, "Are you feeling punky today?" And he always says, "Yeah." And then a little bit later, he feels just fine. Maybe. Maybe mac and cheese did that one. Maybe. Won't know till Wednesday. Um, so, they're not very often that he has those punky days. And it usually lasts like maybe half a day. And then he's fine. He goes back. He's playing. He's running. He's following me around like this little Velcro boy that I love. And he's eating good and everything is fine. He's going potty just like always. Everything is good. And, um, but this time, Saturday, not Saturday during the day when we were down, we were crazy busy here. And I did keep an eye on him, but I didn't get to see if he was eating or not. I really don't think he was now, looking back. Sunday, which was yes, Saturday night, I know he did not eat. So yesterday, I kept track of him all day, and he was, did not eat all day. And, uh, you could tell by looking at him. You know, they get that look of concentration within themselves. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like a withdrawing in of themselves. And so I knew today he was going to have to make a trip to Dr. Dr. Pettigrew's office. So this morning early, gosh, I think it was like 5.30 this morning, I texted Dr. Darcy and said, Trucker's not feeling good. He's not eating. He has not pooed or peed now. I know for sure he did not poo or pee Sunday, and uh, and it's from just plain not eating or drinking. He really didn't feel good. And I said he's depressed, and um, God, she she was supposed to have the day off, but she didn't get it off. And so she said she was going to be in surgery all morning today, but as 
as soon as she was almost done with the last surgery, she would have one of the techs call and uh, tell me to leave then. And by the time I got there, she'd be done with surgery and we could go right into um, trucker time. So that's what they did. As soon as they called, within 10 minutes, I was out and taking them there. Um, so we, and I got to help with them. It was so nice to be there with them the whole time. So the first thing we did was um, anesthetize them. We put the cone on them and gave them ISO that, like what we have here. And they got an IV in them to give them more fluids. And I did give them fluids this morning to get them started. And then they topped them off because he, he was dehydrated. They took a whole bunch of blood from him. And then they did an ultrasound. We were able to get a little bit of stool from him, but it's not enough. So as soon as he does start going potty again, we have to take a stool sample up. Yes. Thank you. Good. She was way up high. Thanks, Angie. So, gosh, I don't have any of his paperwork with me, but in a nutshell, his white blood cell counts are very high. And what's called the bands and the eosinophils were very high. And uh, it does show by the ultrasound that he has irritable bowel syndrome. No big deal. We already knew that. But there's two things involved here. One is that um, he has the diarrhea, which he's had since the day he came in. The only time we ever, I think we only ever got maybe three different partially formed stools that we hit paper rate about. Other than that, it's always been pretty much liquid. Um, so that is the irritable bowel, but there's so many different reasons. So we're still going to work on that. Why? Maybe not so much why, but how can we make it stop? But this caused this. And so what happened, all that, I don't know how else to say it, but sloshy stool that's in his bowel. And this does involve his lower, his small intestine, and his upper uh, intestine. It's not just one or the other. It's both are have like infected or bacterial stool in it. And because of that, it, he's had this for so long that it's finally expanded beyond his intestinal tract. So what that means is that it's like septus, you've all heard of that, or septicemia. And it's where his whole body then is now infected because of the bacteria that's in his bowel. He's sick. He's a sick boy. Um, she also gave him two kinds of IV uh, antibiotics, went straight into the IV. And uh, so that will help. And she also gave a pretty hefty dose of anti-inflammatory to settle the bowel down. So what we're fighting against is his major, major bacterial infection. So we've got a course of action, and it involves antibiotics, more anti-inflammatories, and um, oh, and then metronidazole, which is also actually like another antibiotic. Yeah, and this is not just mild IBS. We're talking, he's probably got the severe of the severes. Yeah, he's, you know, remember, think about this whole past year that he's been on, been here with us. We have not done minor work on him. We have done tons of work on him. You know, it's just, we've done the probiotics. We've done the, uh, many antibiotics. We've done many anti-inflammatories. We've put them together. We've tried the, um, the fecal transplant, which we had high hopes for. We've tried... Um, Grain-free foods, we've tried, um, oh, what are they? Oh, shoot, there's a certain name on the foods. I can't think of that name. It's, it's, but it's not a normal type of food. We've gone off the chart of trying different foods that is uh, not your normal ones. That's in the other things that may cause. Yeah, we've, we have done a lot. 
we have done the food allergies. What they've had us do is to do these trial trial foods, and none of them have kicked it. But um, so, but we're not. We have not given up. And you guys know we don't give up easy here. We're we're there's and Dr. Darcy, bless her heart, she has continued to try to work on this diarrhea with with um, truckers. She's even bought yet another book, and one whole chapter is on diarrhea. We went over it today, went down the whole darn thing of you do this and we get this. We do this and we do this and we do this. And we've done probably 95% of what they've said. And we're getting down to the end of there's there's one more drug combination of all this. Yeah, back to and antibiotics, remember. Um, don't that's right, Levana says doesn't discriminate between good and bad, and that's why you have to be careful with the combinations that you give and what you give with them. It's it's very complicated. I don't think in his case this is stress related. He's I don't think he's uh, that's in him. I really don't. But that can cause stress. That can cause IBS in some cats. So he's a sick boy. I'm not going to lie about it. We did leave his port in. They were going to take it out. And I said, just in case he has to have um, more IVs, let's, if you guys don't mind, let's leave the port in so that I can do um, his, he's got really tough veins, so I can get into his vein easier. Um, so tonight before, yeah, antibiotics can cause diarrhea. That's the thing. You have to look at the whole picture. You have to do the whole thing. On this. Um, so, I'm hoping tomorrow we've got some special foods for him right now, and we're going to use that. We are going to use a little chicken to entice his appetite. So we'll go from there. But we're on it. We're on it. And he was so loving. I'm just—he was so sweet today. I see it in my arms. I got to hold him through quite a bit of it and be there with him. Um, I want to give you a real quick update. Thank you, Pablo. Well, Lost Girl, I appreciate you asking. Ooh, yeah, he can't have the Bondi mix. Um, there's stuff in there that I know for sure he can't have. Uh, Lost Girl, we're, we're going to try a couple things, and I know Earth Eyes is sending us something too. That's green free that uh, we're going to try also. So I want to tell you one thing, though, that she said that I thought was really interesting. I've done that, Violet. I have. Um, I, you know, when you're under anesthetic, you're kind of, well, you're supposed to be. You better be limp as a wet noodle. I picked up that extra long tail of this, and I said, this tail I wash a lot. And I said it because it drags in the poo. And I said, <laughs> you know how you did the short tail on, on, on Coralie, but that's because of her frostbite. I said, it would almost be easier if his tail were shorter. And she looked at me and she said, you know, a lot of cats and dogs who are missing their back legs, they do shorten up the tail because of that same problem that we're dealing with, with him and um Mag magic and magic goes in the litter box and he uses the box perfect 100% but still it it's a drager because they don't can't lift themselves up so I thought that was interesting something to think about his tail sometimes becomes encrusted with that so that's no fun for him or us and I know he doesn't like to have it can't be dirty I know he doesn't so let me give you a quick update on our kitties back there well, he, we need to find Merit up here. Where, yeah. Yeah, we need to find Merit. Merit is up here. we got to find her to make sure she he, she is okay. Merit. Merit. She's at Tordy. Yeah, She's oh, I know. I went yeah. before I left. With the button. With the button. Yeah, she has the button here. So we have the three, three kitties that came in Saturday and the three kitties that came in Sunday. The one with the 
lice, two with the lice are doing good. The one with the fleas is doing great. You want me to put her in the bag? Yeah, let's put her back here for the night so she's not overwhelmed. Will you make sure she eats, Sean? Okay. Thank you. And then we've got the two especially that were very, very, yes, Sab. Yep. No, Dutchie. He doesn't know. We have two that we're working on on the legs. Um, the little golden white boy. Is it his front left leg? He's, she's got the two bite. He has the two bite wounds just like this. This one, unfortunately, has penetrated the knuckle, the actual joint, and is, is extremely infected. And um, Dr. Darcy had a start on medicine, but we're going to switch it to two different antibiotics that is very, very good. It covers the gram positives and gram negatives, and it, we got to get that under control more because this is how she he walks. It's damaged the nerve in there, and if we can get the inflammation down, it may help. I've got a splint on it right now, and he does walk on it naturally then, but when we take it off, it it goes back down. Mm -hmm. It's a real button. The other one is uh, a she, and it's a beautiful brown tiger and white. She's just gorgeous. Her spots on her. She has her back leg, and that when she came in, it stunk. It smelled really, really bad. Um, her whole toe to the ankle, which you know is like this long is infected badly and uh, it but it looks much better than when it came in when she when she came in but where the toes are this toe here is black and it comes up here and it has a severe pus pocket in there that we're working on so her antibiotics have also been changed to do the gram positive and negative so but but think about this if if we just end up losing a toe it's better than losing the whole leg or even two toes it's better than losing the whole leg which is what darcy thought when she first came in so time helps a little bit they really hurt yeah in those knuckles in any joint they hurt oh i have heard of that wolf patch yeah to keep it together because I think they do that because the skin is so thin yeah um many of you have asked about Connie I, I Connie is fine she's okay she's just um tending to some family things and I think she might be here Friday I'm not sure but she's okay and she will be back yeah Coralie can tell us that that's right which cats are on hold? Well, I don't know for sure. The ones I knew for sure are gone, but um, I have one family, or I have two families looking at um, Rochester, and then we have another family that wants two kitties looking, they have it narrowed down to four. And I'm um, they will be, they're the ones that will be here Wednesday. You know, I think I do have another couple on hold. My mind is tired. Um, I don't even have my book out here. But, yeah. Oh, Billy Pogo, I can't tell you all for sure. LJ to me, they look like cat bite wounds. I would say they're probably cat bites. Yeah, like if they live it down here, it holds it up to here. Mm. Oh, yeah. Scott, you know, he just glistens. He, he is so shiny, isn't he, Billy? <laughs> I like that, Mimi. So you guys know that we've been we've been having a little battle in here tonight. Today, some of these kitties have really been ornery today, but they'll be all right. That's all right. Hensley's 
gently been a part of it. Uh, you know what, Pilby, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, because I'll be taking the sutures off, so I'll save the button. Good, I didn't even think about that. I'll sew that button on, and you won't even know it. It'll be clean. All right, folks, I'm going to um, go in, because we've got great help, and things are great. I will, I'm going to go back. Oh, Pasha's mama. I will. I actually thought I'd do quite a bit today. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you this back. Oh, oh okay. oops. And I do believe Pat and Shin are going to show you all the... Uh, Pat's going to do the talking this time. The, I did it the first. Well, Pat will start if you'll go get the laundry bag. The wrapper. Oh, wrapper yeah, thing. Yeah, oh. Give those two kitties, Mary Mort, a big hug from me. Please. Yeah. Night, everybody. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Sam, I don't need to know anything about the bed. This bed? Yeah. Uh, it's going to go in the washer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is item A, and it's the pink carrier. It has wheels. It's been sitting beside me. It has um, both.